All right, everybody. So uh, a while back, I had mentioned, um, or you saw that we finally had the the continuous drain system set up for the dehumidifier. And now that we're well into the warmer months, um, and you can see the humidistat is back on four, uh, I told you it would take um, like a little bit of time just to see how the continuous drain system would do with its current setup. And just to give, just to give you guys an update, honestly, honestly, yeah, honestly. It's doing fantastic. We haven't really had any problems. Uh, for those of you who are new, you can, you can just see the setup right here. We have the hose connected to the uh, to the water pan right there. Goes into um, a standpipe right there with the, with a trap, and it goes along under the stairs and goes over to a check valve, and then goes down the main house drain pipe just like so. Um, I think uh, I think it was. Uh, either March or April when it was set up, I can't remember by this point, and I had mentioned that, you know, it has to, we have to let it get warmer out, let this thing run for a while before it really gives its test, and honestly, the test is doing it is just fantastic. I mean, it's really, run, I mean, it's off right now, but it's running very well, and um, it's removing the water beautifully, it's all going through. I had mentioned about my little concern of the slight uphill there with the hose, but uh, let me show you exactly what, um, how much water is actually in the pan right now. Let me just take off the back panel and get the light on for you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, there's the uh, there's the evaporator coil. Still doing very well. Still looks very clean, too. That's good. Um, there's maybe, um, I don't know how much, oh wait, hold on, I'm showing you the wrong thing. Sorry about that. Here we go. There's only maybe like, not even half an inch of water in the pan, or maybe half an inch. I wouldn't see any more than that. And, um, you know, you can see it's all going into the pan very well. Just, you know, once in a while, you would have to take the pan out to clean the film that gets on there when you have water and plastic. It's like pretty, like, slimy stuff, but it's easy to clean. So, you know, it got me thinking. I was thinking about how, you know, maybe I should, um, I should, um, I was thinking of cutting down the uh, pipe a little bit so the hose can go down a little bit more or maybe get like a larger hose on it for just you know a bigger um flow diameter and something like that but i mean really for how long water has been going in there now that's really not all that bad the amount of water that's in there now at the same time i'm thinking you know if i adjust the um the hose let me just put this panel back on just bear with me for a second sorry okay there we go uh, you know, there's only like a half inch of water that's in the pan right there. So, obviously, if I can lower this hose, maybe there'd be a little bit less water in there. But at the same time, it seems to be draining, you know, just fine. So I'm thinking, you know, should I still make those little adjustments so that there's like a little bit less water in there? Or, you know, should I just leave it alone? Because with the amount of humidity this thing has been removing... If that pan was going to overflow, would well not overflow, or fill to the top and trip the switch, it would have by now, and it surely hasn't. There hasn't been any more than that amount of water in the pan with this current hose set up the way it is. So, like I said, maybe I'll lower it just a little bit, just so it's all downhill, but at the same time, you can see it's flowing out just fine. So, not too sure if I should make those adjustments or if I should just leave it as is. You know, maybe you guys could, um, could let me know. And like I said, um, the check valve has not, has, not, has not been a problem for the water getting out because this, this, this pipe has never overflowed, and it's done a fantastic job. I'm really happy with it. And um, once again, you can see that it goes uh, let's say along here and over to the check valve like so. The check valve is so if, you know, God forbid the pipe was to ever back up, that check valve would close and would prevent water from spilling out of that pipe, which you would never want to have happen. The only time I've ever actually, th the only time I think I've actually heard the valve click was whenever the uh, washing machine drains, and that comes from over here, uh, the, 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 also the laundry room sink drains from there too, but the washing machine, as you know, has a good pump, so it throws out a good volume of water at a time. So the water comes over there, and then obviously goes down to there, and then drops down the pipe. Every time the washing machine is drained, I, or sometimes I should say, I'm not down here all the time when it happens, I think I have heard the check valve click just a couple of times because of the volume of water going down the pipe. And obviously, once it's finished draining, you know, everything's fine. It's a very short time. 
Sorry about that, guys. I hit the record button by accident. Like I was saying, the draining doesn't last, like, forever. It's a very short time. So, really, if it only happens on occasion, it probably isn't a problem because once I think the washer is finished draining, the check valve is all reset, and then, you know, the water just keeps going like it is. So, I think, really, it's not a problem that we have to worry about. Just a little something I noticed, but honestly, I think it's probably okay. So anyway guys, there you have it. Um, really, like I said, the uh, the dehumidifier drain system is working fantastic. Um, no problems, getting rid of the humidity, and it's really nice not, not to have to empty the pan anymore every day and a half or sometimes every day. So you can tell just how much humidity this vintage machine is removing, and it's absolutely fantastic. So glad to have it. So as usual guys, thank you very much for watching, and take care.